Your health link. A new study finds that anger can increase your risk of a heart attack. And researchers say the risk is more than eight times greater during the two hours after a person gets really angry. Arguments with family or coworkers were the biggest triggers for anger associated heart attacks. People resistant to aspirin may suffer more severe strokes. That's according to a new study that involved more than 300 stroke patients. Aspirin helps thin the blood and prevents clotting, which can cause another stroke. Long-lasting contraceptives are becoming more popular with women. New CDC data shows more women are using IUDs and hormonal implants because they're effective and safe. You know, it's no secret that being pregnant can be quite stressful at times. Yeah, Susan Hedricks explains how to manage that stress. Stress is completely normal for pregnant women. In fact, pregnancy itself may be one of the reasons you feel so stressed out. It's really possible that just being pregnant could be increasing your stress. Physically, your heart is working much more than normal. It's almost like jogging, just sitting there because your heart is pumping so much. Your heart rate's faster, so you're automatically at a heightened state. Pregnant or not, too much stress is not a good thing for our bodies, but the jury's still out on whether or not a woman's stress level affects the fetus. In pregnancy, it's not so clear cut. We're not sure that that stress is harmful, although it can make your pregnancy a lot tougher. There is some data that potentially says that kind of stress can increase your risk for a smaller baby and also preterm labor. You can manage stress in a variety of ways. A couple of things that can help, you know, relaxation techniques, whether that's a hot cup of tea or a warm bath or learning true breathing techniques can help you. And don't be afraid to ask for help. Tell someone just how stressed you're feeling. I'm Susan Hendricks.